Uh, hello everyone, we are doing experiment number five, which is uh, thyristor single face have five rectifier, and we will do the circuit. Okay, the first one. This is actually the whole circuit with the free wheeling diode. So this circuit now is the final one, the final circuit, which is this. Okay, that's the power diode we use for the. Uh, for the freewheeling diode, okay? Anyway, if I come here and turn on, I wanna just show you the final results. I should, I should turn this on, okay? This is the final with the freewheeling diode, okay? And uh, this is the thyristor unit here. Okay, and this is the power thyristor. Those are two new things, two new devices. We are using the power thyristor instead of the, instead of the power diode. But we will use the power diode just for the freewheeling diode. We're going to use this, okay? Because this is a freewheeling diode and this is a power thyristor. Um, I will I will demolish the whole circuit, okay? And I will build it for you, and I will uh, show you the readings, okay? So let's come back here and. Uh, I think that's good. Okay. Okay. I want everything to be clear. Okay. Okay, now I will turn off. I will demolish everything first. So we have the blue wires, which I normally use the blue wires for to measure the voltage. As I uh, told you before, we want the yellow with the blue wires for the to measure the voltage, and the red wires to uh, connect the circuit. And then the yellow for the to add the inductive loads or the resistive loads. Okay. So that's all the red wires right here. And this one here is the oscilloscope. And for the oscilloscope, we use the blue one for the voltage. And uh, red. Okay, this one, you know this. This one here is the power thyristor, and this one should be connected with the thyristor firing unit. Um, and uh, to be controlled, because this one will not work till you give it an alpha, which is firing angle. And the firing angle will be from here. We will decide either 45, 60, 120. From 0 to 180 okay and this is the nine pins right here so we have nine pins right here each pin represents one of those are six seven eight and nine uh, I will stop the circuit this one here also needs 24 volts the faster otherwise it will not work otherwise no results let's do the circuit so I'm gonna come from we're gonna use for n and this one zero here okay and then we're gonna come, we're gonna connect the first experiment, the first circuit that I told you. Okay. So to the DC current, from the DC current, into the power thyristor, from the power thyristor into the resistive load, and then from the resistive load. Okay, here, now the circuit is Done, but we need to measure the voltage. So here, this is the voltage to see the voltage across the load. Here. Here. And also I need to for the voltage isolator. So the voltage isolator, either I want to see the voltage across the thyristor or the voltage across 
the load. I'll leave it for now at Krista Tayan Salam. Then we will see what's going on. Here, as I told you, no, normally we use the blue one for the voltage. So this is my blue one, my blue channel. Okay. It will be a cross, it will be for the to measure the voltage. So this is voltage and this is the ground. And this one here, if I have a voltage isolator, I will put it here. But for the time being, I will see the alpha, so I will put this in one, pin one, which represent thyristor number one, and ground, okay? Now let's see here, I will turn on and give it 100%, okay? And um, I see nothing right here. Up to now, I see nothing. So yeah, this one should, must be synchronized. This one must be synchronized. So I have to synchronize. First, there is a mode here. If it's up, it's for the three phase. If it's down, it's for the single phase. And those should be either down or up. Okay, we'll leave them up. And this one here is to control the arm. So let's synchronize with the B source. So top with line and bottom with neutral. Now I think it will change. Now it changes. If I stop, you can see here. Okay, but it's a flipped. So I will flip, I will put press here and flip, okay? No, I think I will, was okay. Okay, this is across, no. Yeah, this is okay, now. This is across the time step, okay? Okay, uh, I'm repeating the picture here to see, the, to see it clear. Okay, we see this one here. This is across the thyristor, which is this. And this is the firing unit that I told you. And this is the mode here. If it's down, if it's up, it's three phase for the three phase. And if it's down, it's for the single phase. And this is must be synchronized with the V source. And this one, input with output. The input with output. If I put this across the load, if I take this and put it across the load right here, and it will change, you can see it here. I have to, okay, I have to flip this. Okay, I stop. This is the, you see this one here? It should be up also. So this one, uh, that's okay, so I need all that, no problem. Because I think it should be, um, the dire yeah, the direction, you see here, the direction of the current. I need to flip this and this. Okay, now it appears here. Should when I stop, it will flip. Uh, okay, I should flip the, the indicator. Okay. Now I think that's okay. Okay, now this is the output for 45. But here they don't want 45, they want the alpha to be uh, 120. So alpha 120, I'll make alpha 120 here. Okay, that's 120 here. That's 120. So here, that's 120. This is the output for 120. And that's the 120 here. And this is the voltage across the, the load. And this is the voltage across the thyristor. So if I take this again, and put it here across the thyristor. For 120, that's what I will see. Okay, you see? So if I put this, if I add this with this, I will get the resource. If I take this, take this, this is across the B test. So this is um, uh, circuit number one. Next circuit, here the conduction angle, beta is uh, 180 and alpha is 120. So 180 minus 120 is 60. This is the next one here. Okay. Next one, we're going to add isolator, voltage isolator. So we're going to do some connection. First, turn off. We're going to connect this, disconnect this. Okay. We're going to disconnect this here. And we'll add, we'll bring another one. So disconnect this here and come here. 
and here just add this so we added the voltage isolator here we added the voltage isolator okay and still for the resistive load same no change for the resistive load is still 60 no change so now they want us to change the alpha and 245 that's 45 here so we're gonna put it 45 Okay, it's jumping, but it will make it. That's 45. Okay, now let's see here. Um, there's, it has to be, it has to turn on. You have to turn it on. Okay. And it's okay. So, okay, that's 445. That's it, because here, I come here we need to measure this is they want us they want us to measure the v out but first i want you to see this the, the, the v out is 45 and that's 45 okay and the current is 0.8 and this is yeah we have 0.75 approximately the same and the output power we do the calculation and the conduction angle is 180 minus 45 because this is 45 this is 45 and then for the inductive you see here what happened voltage goes down current goes down because of the inductive so we have to use the freewheeling to improve that anyway this is the this is this this is for the 45 the voltage and current for the resistive load and which is i'm gonna take this now and put it across the resistive here okay and i will see here okay this is yeah, I want now since I already put the current isolator, I will take this and come here to measure the current. So now I can measure the current right here. Okay. So now I have both. See, I have the voltage and current now. This is for the resistive load only. This is the resistive load only, voltage and current. And then this one here is the voltage and uh, current for the inductive load. So I ha I need the inductive load here to see the to see this one. This one here is for the resistor. Okay. Now I need to add the inductive. So what should I do? I should turn off first, and I should come here. You see this here? I will okay put it here for the time being, and I will connect this. I need to connect the inductive with the resistor. Okay, and come here. And here, I have to take everything up here. Everything has to be measured. Now, let's see. I already choose the values for the inductive. Now here, it's off. Okay, stop. Now see here, that's the inductive. Uh, this is the voltage and current for the inductive. Which is this. Okay. Now what's left is the freewheeling diode, okay? The freewheeling diode, uh, we have to get, we will get, when we connect the freewheeling diode, we're gonna use the power diode now, because we cannot use this. We're gonna use a power diode. And um, those are the, the, the questions, you can just look at the answers. Okay, and this is the freewheeling circuit. And those are the values. See here, the voltage will improve. And we will see that here. You see the voltage here? It's around like 36. As we have before and now we will see the free reading diode and we're going to use the we need to do do some updates because see here we need to come up from the neutral into the into the diode and from the power diode into here nothing no change I, I i see nothing okay i see no change i need to close this still the same no change nothing 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 is here so i have i have i have to do some updates in the circuit itself okay because this one here should be it should turn off take this up, up. okay this is, i'll take my free wheeling diode i need to you see here in the circuit i need to put the the thyristor before the DC current, otherwise I will have an issue. 
So I have to come from the circuit. When I come from the circuit, I should come here first. Okay? So I should come here first. I should come to the freewheel and forget this. I should come to the to the free, to the power thyristor first. And then from the power power thyristor into the DC current, which is this. And then from the DC current here and then here. I just make the power thyristor before the uh, before the isolator. Okay. And now let's see here. We should come from here. This one here, I'm using this power diode right here. I'm gonna go to neutral. I wanna fix my issue. Same as what we have done in the in previous. So I should come here. Okay, should turn on now. Okay, you see this now, it's improved. So I need to flip the, okay. Now it's a flip, you see this now? This is my free wheeling. You see how it's improved? It was 36, now it's like uh, 45. The voltage also, uh, the current also uh, improved. And this is for the review questions if you want to answer those. So that's the whole um, experiment. Same, approximately same as what we have done before. In half wave, uh, the half wave single phase, uh, uncontrolled, but this is controlled. So the new things that we used are the power thyristor and the uh, firing unit, thyristor firing unit. Anyway, I'm gonna try to upload this as soon as possible for you guys. Thank you.